Hello, this is Ronan and Mog. In this screencast, I want to show you how to change the layout of an open XML document. For example, in this specific uh, example, I want to show you how to change the layout of a Word document and specifically of a Word table style. So let's begin and choose one of the templates. We choose this one, purchase order. And as we can see in the customization, we have here two tables. Let's go to the template itself on the Word document. And we can see here that we have two tables. We have a standard, a standard table style. Let's close it and we'll produce, uh, we'll produce uh, some output from this template. For example, we produce uh, 20 files, 20 Word documents. And we see it's produced. Let's choose one of them. As we can see here, as we can see here, the tables uh, are in a standard plain uh, table style. And we want to change it to another style. Let's delete all these files. And we go again. And we go to the template and try to change the table style. And we take this style for the upper one. And another style for the second one and we save the template now let's produce again and we see the documents are produced and we choose another one of them and as we can see now the layout has changed definitely and we can watch for another one. The layout has changed, of course. And let's another one. Okay, it changed. Now let's again delete the files and go again to the template. Try to change some more time maybe we'll choose this one for the upper and this one for the lower again we we'll save it and we'll go to produce the files Again, we choose one of the documents. Of course, we see a change in the layout. Well, this is nice. Another one. And the last one to see if it's OK. And this is it. So what if it, we learned from this uh, screencast that we can change the, the size of some object on the open XML document without using any programming and uh, and a very fast changing the layout this this uh, screencast was uh, dealing just with table style but again we can do it with a lot of objects in the Word document and this is for uh, this time thank you very much